you listen in the spirits where you hear God. When you're suffering and everything's telling you go the opposite direction of where God is, blame him and walk away from him. If you run to him in those moments, you not only run into him, you run in him. I'm telling you, you'll come into his presence, into his spirit. And when you do, that's where you get an audience with God. That's where you will hear stuff others won't be able to hear. And notice he heard a great voice. Somebody say it was behind him. Somebody shout, there's a great voice behind us. And it sounded like a trumpet. Can't you see that? Boy, I wish there was somebody here with a trumpet tonight. I've did this before in the past. You remember, don't you, Mom, when I was in Valdosta, hallelujah, a few months ago, I had somebody with a saxophone follow me around on the stage. Hallelujah. I've had people with shofars do it before. Hallelujah. But, but, but it's amazing. Praise the Lord. Jesus come up behind John on that island where every man had forsook him. All men had let him down. He was left there to die. But it was in an island where he was suffering that it made no sense uh, that Jesus come up behind him singing sounding like a trumpet somebody shout Jesus sounded like music uh, Jesus come up singing Jesus come up rejoicing uh, saying you're worthy of a song of praise uh, I'm you, you singing over me uh, now I'm going to sing over you uh, hallelujah and Jesus uh, was the choir that day uh, in his worst dilemma where he said I'm going to praise him. It's the Lord's day. And when he stepped in the spirit, somebody shout, Jesus, come up behind him. It was a portrait of Jesus saying, boy, everybody else may have let you down and left you, and it looks like you ain't going to get out of here, but I just come up behind you. Somebody say, watch out. He sneak up behind you, son. I just come up behind you to let you know I got your back. I got your back. Yes, I got your back. Oh, yeah. Look at your neighbor. Say, I know you want to look back sometimes, but next time you look back, look at him. He's got your back. He's there singing, saying, I'm not through with you. Hallelujah. Because the Bible said in God's word, hallelujah, that he rejoices. Psalm chapter 130, he rejoices over the works of his hands. Come on, somebody. Somebody shout over the works of his hands. He sings a song. He rejoices. So when Jesus walked up behind John in an island in tribulation, but now in the spirit on the Lord's day, Jesus walked up and sounded like a song, like music, like an instrument, a trumpet sounding. Hallelujah. And the trumpet was a, a, a instrument used according to Numbers 10 and 9 that when the enemies came into the land of Israel, hallelujah, God said, if you'll sound the alarm with a trumpet, I'll defeat your enemies. You'll be remembered before the Lord your God. Somebody shout, we all got a building so far. It's our esophagus and the diaphragm. Amen. The spirit of our lungs can push out the breath and let everything that hath breath. Praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Psalms 150 verses 6. And when God saw John praising the Lord, breathing out praises and blessings to God, even in his trial on the Lord's day, Jesus come up like a trumpet. Trumpets where we get the word triumph from, from where we get the word victory from. Somebody shout, it was a song of victory. John, you're the works of my hands. Psalms 104, thank you, Lord. Verse 31, and I rejoice over the works of my hands. John, I'm not through with you, son. John, you ain't gonna die here. John, you're gonna make it off this island. Hallelujah, John, I'm gonna deliver you. Somebody look at your neighbor say, can't you hear this great voice behind you? In the midst of your trial, in the midst of your strain and your struggle, can't you hear him coming up? Can't you hear him blowing up? Can't you hear him? He's wetting his lips. He's putting it to the trumpet. He's sounding the shofar. And the shofar is what's going to be heard when the Lord himself shall ascend from heaven with the shout, with the voice of an archangel, with the trump of God and the dead in Christ. 
Christ are going to rise first. Then we that are alive and remain shall be caught up in the air to be the Lord in the clouds. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. First Thessalonians 4, 16 and 17. Somebody shout the trumpet is a sound of getting up. The trumpet is a sound of a rapture. And I'm telling you, there's a Jesus tonight. He's coming up behind somebody in the middle of their worst trial. And he's saying, you may be down for a little bit, but not for a count. I'm coming. My voice is greater than the voice of the enemy. And I'm about to say, get up, get up, get up. Hallelujah. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Rise up, rise up. There is a lifting up. Stay in my spirit. Stay where I am. Pursue me passionately when your problems press you the most. For it'll be there that I'll raise you up and make a vessel of honor that can house my Holy Ghost in his oil. For it is there that I visit mankind and my hand lays heavy on them and I trust them with my power. Stay in the spirit. Worship me. Even when your Patmos makes no sense. Praise me in your Patmos. And you'll hear me come behind you. And I'll have your back. And I'll bring you back. I'll raise you back. I'll restore you back. If you'll only stay in the spirit. Get in this altar and stay in the spirit. Get in his altar and stay in the spirit. Somebody shout, this is the only way to successfully come out of the storm. Stay in the spirit.